Texas authorities face mounting criticism tonight. There are differing reports over how long the suspected gunman in Tuesday's elementary school shooting massacre remained barricaded before authorities killed him. The state's Department of Public Safety says up to an hour may have passed. Onlookers urged police officers to storm the school. The rampage finally ended when a Border Patrol team rushed in and shot the gunman. Several agencies are now working to find answers. They don't make entry initially because of the gunfire they're receiving. But we have officers calling for additional resources. Everybody that's in the area, tactical teams, we need equipment. Meanwhile, we're learning the husband of one of the fourth grade teachers killed in the massacre died of a heart attack. Family members say Irma Garcia's husband died just two days after his wife. The couple was married for 24 years and leaves behind four children. <laughs> As the investigation continues, the small Texas community of Uvalde continues to mourn a tragedy that's almost too difficult to comprehend. Fox's Joy Addison has spent the day talking with members of that community. She joins us live now to share some of their stories. Joy. Hi, Russ and Courtney. Good evening. There have been hundreds of people traveling here to pay their respects at Robb Elementary School and other memorials set up around the town of Uvalde, like the one behind me. And the overall attitude here is just one of grief, um, shock, and a lot of residents here have a lot of questions as details about this mass shooting. Continue. Jose Flores, how old? George Hernandez holds a photo of his wife's 10 year old grandson, Jose Flores. He was shot by the 18 year old gunman. Hernandez says he helped raise Jose and loved him like his own. Happy go lucky kid. Just going about his he remembers the moments he received the tragic news after waiting nearly six hours for an update. They were busing him to say the dinner. I went to the hospital and they stopped me. But everybody knows everybody, they know me. His dad just left. He went home. No, he was, no. Little Jose passed away. So. 18 of Jose's classmates and both of his teachers were also shot and killed by the gunman. Stephanie Sanchez played softball with 10 year old Eliana Cruz Torres, who also died in the shooting. She's just 12 years old and trying to deal with all of this. Really surprising and like really scary and sad because like she didn't deserve that. And like none of the other kids should deserve that. Lino Hernandez is from nearby Del Rio. One of the teachers that got uh, assassinated her husband works in our hometown at one of our grocery stores. He says many surrounding communities are hurting with Uvalde, including his own. In shock as well, you know, wondering why, uh, the question why, and why did it happen in a small community? You know, we hear about it in the big communities, big cities and all that, but when we hear about it in a small community, we wonder, could it happen to us? And, and we realize, yes, it can. Ileana's cross is actually the one directly behind me. I've seen so many people come and put flowers and teddy bears and cards um, underneath her cross. And the president says that he and the first lady will be here on Sunday. In Uvalde, Texas, Joy Addison, Fox 5 News. Joy, thanks. Meanwhile, the National Rifle Association's annual meeting will go on as planned in Houston, Texas. As of Wednesday, the NRA did not announce any changes to its schedule. It's set to feature former President Donald Trump, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, and Senator Ted Cruz as some of the speakers. The organization did tweet its sympathies to the families of Uvalde. Personal firearms are allowed at the convention. However, the NRA says guns would not be allowed during the session featuring former President Trump.